which are what? Pants, right? That's right. So, pants. That's what it means by a woman should not wear them which pertain to a man. That's what you have on. Leggings. Leggings, right? Do you know leggings are considered pants? They are pants. Do you know that? So, a lot of this that I'm telling you, you've heard before, right? What does that do? You know what that is to the, uh, your brothers or sisters that I mean, that are not in the spirit, or even those that. What does that attract? That's my question. What does wearing leggings attract? So, the Bible, read, read it one more time again. I'm going to show you something real, real plain. Read it one more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, we know a woman's garment that men should not wear is what? Dresses and skirts. So, what's the opposite of a dress and a skirt that men should not wear? I mean, that, that women should not wear shorts and pants. So for a woman, women are not the Israelite woman, the Black Hispanic Native American woman cannot wear pants or shorts. Now the white woman, the Arabs, the Chinese, they can do all of those. They they can wear those things because the laws was never given to them. The laws was only given to the children of Israel. That's what we are. You understand? So now you said you have on leggings. You know leggings is just a little bit thicker than stockings. You remember stockings, don't you? You used to wear them to church. What you wore? To, what, what did you wear stockings with? A, a dress, a skirt, or a dress? So where is the leggings supposed to be worn in? Under the skirt and the dress. They're not outer garments. I used to start walking around here in drawers. No, leggings are just as thick as panties are. They just long panties. My, my granddaddy used to call them long drawers, which, which were, uh, 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 what's the place called? No, uh, long johns. That's what they call them. You understand? So, you really, those look like long johns. They're just tighter than long johns. Those were worn under your clothes. That wasn't worn as an outer garment. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So the opposite of what they get ready to go into, when you wear those type of clothing, this is what follows it. Matthew 5, 28. And then we're going to show you what the Bible says a woman is supposed to dress. And when she dresses in this manner, she's called beautiful. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 28. Yeah. But I say unto you that whosoever look upon a woman. Because men look at women, right? What are they doing when they look at it? What, what are they looking for? This is going to tell you. Watch this. That whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her uh -huh. committed adultery with her already in his heart. Because that was the first thing that you said, adultery. Right? So whenever a woman is dressing in revealing clothes, a man is looking at her and lusting after her. He's having the thought of smashing. He's not having the thought of marrying you. He's having the thought of hitting it. And right. what comes from a man hitting it and it's not his wife? What comes from that? that the black community suffer from. Single parent homes. What else? That we, we are the highest of what? STDs. That's right. Abortions come from single, mostly come from single parent homes. That's right. You understand? So one of our sisters are dressed in an immodest apparel, they dress in mainly clothing to where men can see their shape, their curves. It causes the man to lust after her, and then he commits what? Adultery with her already in his heart. You cause, or well, our sisters, they dress immodest, or they dress in men's clothing, they cause a man to fall in adultery. That's right. That's, that's a that's sin, right. right? You love your people, your brothers. Okay. So if you love your people, give me Leviticus 19, verse 17. Because what we've been taught love was is saying nice things to each other, buying gifts. 
I got one rolled up for y'all already, bro. Or sis. I got five on it. That's what we've been taught what love was. Let's see what love is according to the Bible. Because black people has never learned to love themselves, but they know how to love everybody else but their own people. Right, Watch right. this. The book of the Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Your heart is your mind when you read Mark 7, 21. The Bible says we shall not hate our brothers in our heart. Right. Right. We know how to do that real good. Black people, we know how to do that amongst each other real good. We know how to hate each other very well. Watch this. Thou shalt in any way wise rebuke thy neighbor. So in us not hating our brother or our sister, it's our job to rebuke our neighbor. When it says rebuke, it's talking about correcting. That's right. So what we're doing right now is actually showing you love because we're actually correcting you by your apparel telling you you can't wear that according to God. That's right. Watch this. And not suffer sin upon him. So when you love your brother or your sister, you don't suffer sin or allow them or make them sin. So when a woman is dressed immodestly, a man, her brother, is looking at her and he's lusting after her, which causes him to fall into adultery. If their sister really love her brother, she's going to dress in a, in a way that's not going to cause him to commit adultery in his mind. You understand? So for us, we have to know how to love each other. How we do that? By applying God's commandments. That's how you love your brother. That's how you love your sister. You understand? So we can't dress how America has taught us to dress because we know Big Mama now. When, we, when you watch Soul Food, right? What did Big Mama always have on? She was dressed. She was. She had dresses on. Even our sister that was in the cotton field picking cotton in the in over a hundred degree weather. What apparel did they have on? Long dresses and skirts. It's naturally beautiful. There's nothing you have to alter to make yourself beautiful. But let's see how the Lord say to make yourself more beautiful. Watch this. The book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also. Because this this is why the why the white woman she go and get booty implants. Breast implants, lip injections, because who they trying to look like? The black woman. But the black woman, what she going to do? She follow right behind Amelia Pluma, which is a white woman. They told the black woman that y'all can wear pants. Pants was never meant for women to, uh, to wear. In the Bible, it was always meant for the men. You never read about a woman in the Bible wearing pants. Watch this, come on. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves. Adorn means to make yourself more beautiful. How do the Israelite want to make herself beautiful? Women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In what apparel? Modest apparel. What does modest mean? Appropriate. I like that. What do you think modest mean back here in the back, sis? If you don't know, that's okay. This is what we are here. We are here to edify people. For free. We will ask you for a dime while we are here. So modest means to not give off sexual attention. That's right. So you dress in a manner to not give sexual attention so you're not coming outside looking sexy. Because what's the that's word right. of sexy? Sex. And that's what comes with dressing in modesty. That's right. Sex follows that. And what comes from sex? Children. STDs. And those children end up coming from coming uh what what you said, single parent home. Do you know 80% of our brothers and sisters that's in the prison system right now come from single parent homes? Guess where they started from? The way our sisters dress. So guess what we gotta do? We gotta change. And guess what? Guess what's so beautiful about it? You can. My wife used to wear pants like that. But she don't wear those no more. You wanna know why? Because she applied this right here. Give me Psalms, uh, Psalms 19 and verse 7. Because she applied what the Bible says. Watch That's this. Right. Because in, in, in the churches, they'll tell you that you can't be perfect. Right. When Christ commanded us to be perfect. Right. Right. Why would Christ command us to be perfect if we couldn't be perfect? Right. That would be a false statement from, from Christ, wouldn't it? Bring it out. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What's perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. What did that law do? Converted the soul. The laws of God is perfect. That's right. That's right. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Bring it out. Thou shalt not covet. Right. 
Right. You understand? Covet. It's when you want things, you desire things that you're not supposed to have. Right. You understand? Like for instance, women today, they desire another woman. That's called covetousness. Yeah. Or you desire a man that's not your husband. That's called covetousness. Yeah. That's right. You understand? We desire to smoke weed. That's called covetousness. You desire, you, de you desire all the things that you're not supposed to have. Right. I de also desire to dress in men's clothing. That's called covetousness. So for us to be perfect in these laws is what's going to convert us. What's another word for convert? Change. That's right. But the black man, the black woman say we won't change, but we won't change. So how do we actually change? How do we won't change for our communities? Who is who is start with? It start with self. You gotta examine yourself. You gotta see what it is that you're doing wrong. This this causing the effect in the community. That's right. Because once you fix yourself, now you can go and fix everybody else. You understand? But you got to fix self. You got to want self. You got to want change for yourself. For you to actually want change for your people. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. Oh,